Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Steph and this is Ordinary Plant Girl. And if you are returning, thank you so much for spending more of your time with me. So today we are going to actually kind of piggyback last week's video. As I was talking about alocasias, I figured that, you know what? It is going to be, it is a plant chore day, but this one is going to be especially for alocasias. We are going to go through um, some watering and it is spider mite season. But I do have to say that only one of my alocasias that I know of, because I haven't actually checked all of them, only one of my alocasias so far has had spider mites. And this will actually be its third treatment just to make sure that I kind of keep up with it. But pretty much what I'm gonna do is I am going to take care of my alocasias today. I'm gonna make sure that they are all sprayed down, happy, watered, that cuparia is really freaking me out. But you know what? If that is something that you are interested in seeing, please stick around. So as far as alocasias go today, we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is there only ten alocasias? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have an even ten alocasias. Nice. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we've got my alocasia fry deck. This leaf is on its way out, but I'm hoping it pops out a new leaf before that. This is my baby alocasia pink dragon. We've been having a few issues with her. My alocasia dragon scale. I'm not sure if I kind of want to cut these leaves off, but I don't know if I should. We're going to treat everything first. My alocasia scalpum down here with its little tender new leaf. My Cupria, who I, I don't know what is happening here. It's not floppy. It just decided that all the heads were gonna turn down. I don't know why. If anybody knows why that is, please let me know. And over here, the only one that has gotten any spider mites whatsoever is my Alocasia stingray that also just wants to grow weirdly. It must be the window that it's in. Anyway, let's get to treating them. Okay. Tests, I use Safer's End All. This is a concentrate, so you mix it with water and uh, it gives you your miticide. So I've got that in here and we are gonna start treating these. So for 
the Stingray. This is the third treatment. Um, I typically do three, even though I didn't really see anything after the first treatment. And it was only on two leaves, I believe. This one here. Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. I can't even show you that was done from them, but it was this leaf and I believe, yeah, it was this leaf here, this big guy, well, bigger guy. One of my goals is to get stingray leaves as big as they are in the big box store. Because it is crazy how big those leaves can get. Ah! Yep, kicked my tripod. I probably shouldn't have done this when I had dishes over there, but I will just rewash them. They will be fine. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll let these dry. I'm gonna go wash my hands and then I will come back and fertilize and water these ones. And we will go from there. guys are done. So this is my Alocasia Sabrina, my Alocasia Yucatan Princess, which is one of my favorite Alocasias. And then down here is just my Alocasia Polly or Amazonica. And this leaf is super new so I don't even want to touch it. It took about two and a half weeks to unfurl and I'm hoping I didn't wreck it by doing this right now. Now let's go back and check on the ones that are in the kitchen. Okay, so these ones are pretty much dry now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add slow release fertilizer. So here I have got some Osmocote and this is just a, what is this one? This is a 15912 since I'm not worried about blooming. We're just going to put a little bit. It does come with a handy scoop, but I'm just going to shake it on. So the fried egg has already got a little bit in there. The pink dragon does not. And one of the reasons why I'm using a slow release fertilizer is because quite a few of these are just in a cocoa coir mix with no actual potting soil. So it has no nutrients whatsoever. Uh, the scalprum which is still pretty new, but you know, it, it can't hurt. Or maybe it can, I don't know. 
we'll see what happens. Um, my cupria, I don't know if my cupria's got any in there. Uh, it does not look like it. But I did have worm castings at some point, so that's good. But yeah, what is going on here? Like, it's just the weirdest little thing. And the stingray has got some in it already. So now I'm just going to rinse off all of the leaves and at the same time water them. I'm gonna have to move them before I do the stingray because it's just, I'll take it in the bathroom and I'll do that one in the bathroom just because it's all weird and, and lanky. taken all of them out, I can actually do this one in here. Now this one is still a little heavy, so I don't actually think it needed too much water. So I'm going to try not to uh, water the soil. Just the leaves. Except for that leaf. Now I'm going to let this one kind of dry out a little bit and it's back to the bathroom. Now this fertilizer actually does come with a little, little scoop and tells you how much you need. It's like um, a, like a storm in there. Okay. We'll get, it, we'll get a nice good soap. Okay guys, thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope that you are all safe and well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.